So to remove the uh, airbag, steering wheel, and switch assembly off of a uh, 944 with an airbag, uh, the first thing you do is disconnect the battery. Then there are two T30 Torx uh, bolts holding in the airbag, and you just take those out. You might have to turn the steering wheel a little bit to clear the switches, and then you can fit your tool in there. Then once you have those out, the airbag comes off. And you just remove this. And then the airbag's out. Then for the uh, steering wheel nut, you need, well, I'm using a 15 sixteenths socket because that's the closest thing I have to fit that. And an extension. All I do is wrap my arm around like this and then get up on the socket like this and press down on the uh, Before you actually take the steering wheel off, you get a marker, just put like a mark. So you can get it back in like the same general position. Of course, I have my steering wheel straight. So, they make steering wheel pullers if you can't get it off, but all I do is get the steering wheel to lock and shake it and pull at the same time. And it comes off. So, then you take these four screws out. And you just pull this off. Then you get this assembly off. You need to remove these two plastic pieces. And there's some, there's a screw here, screw there, one there. Also under here. And you also got to pull this knob off. and take this nut off.
There's also another screw holding the plastic piece on in this area. You just gotta look in there and find it. And there's another one on that side that you gotta find. You also need to take this panel off because there's another screw here. This nut is the same size as the steering wheel nut. And you do not need a lot of force, otherwise you're going to break everything. And then you want to grab with both hands this side and this side, very gently move it that way. And then gently get it off. You just gotta pull to get this slider to come through the vent. And then you can just let it hang because all you need to do is get that 8 millimeter bolt there and loosen it and if you have to remove this one <clears throat> There are two screws um, under this panel, and to get that panel off, you just pry very gently around the edge, preferably with a plastic tool, but I used a metal one, and it worked fine. So you pull the uh, climate control out a little bit, and then this come off. And once that's loose, you can pull this off. Don't let this thing move too much. Uh, refer back to your video or picture or put a mark or zip tie it there or tape it. And when you're pulling this off, you can just grab this with one hand and pull the plugs off with the other hand. You can actually take this assembly off uh, with these two screws here. Again, let, don't let it move too much. And you can let that hang there, and you got your switches. And when you're putting the steering wheel back on, this part that sticks out uh, goes through here. So don't try to jam your steering wheel on and then break that little piece. Um, so make sure you follow your marks. I'm actually a little off here so I gotta take it back apart and put this over a little bit. If you get the alignment all messed up on this, there's directions right here on how to reset the whole thing. Uh, they basically say, before assembly, line up the front wheels straight ahead and bring the contact unit into the middle position, which is four and a half turns from the left or right steering stop. So to align that, you use the steering wheel to make the front wheels straight. Take the steering wheel back off. And then pop this back out. And then spin this till it stops. Don't force it when it stops. And then spin it the opposite way, four and a half turns. So one two, three, four, and a half. 
and that should be center. And that looks pretty much perfect.